Welcome to my YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Math. In this lecture, we discuss uh, the modified regular falsi method for finding numerical solution of nonlinear equation. We have already discussed regular falsi method in which we study working of regular falsi method, derivation, algorithm, example, and MATLAB code. Similarly, today we discuss modification of regular falsi method with the same steps, and we study why we modify regular falsi method. What are the reasons behind the uh, modification of regular falsi method? Uh, we also study uh, when does the regular falsi method fail, and uh, we study uh, rate of convergence of a modified regular falsi method. Uh, so uh, let's start today lecture. Modified regular falsi method for finding numerical solution of an equation of the form f of x is equal to zero. Conditions f is continuous function on interval a b and the value of the function at the end point of the interval a and b have opposite signs this graph shows a regular falsi method and modified regular falsi method this is a regular falsi method and this is improved or modified regular falsi method regular falsi always converges uh, usually considerable faster than bisection method there are situations that can slow its convergence that problem isn't unique to regular falsi method other than bisection method all the numerical equation solving methods can have a slow convergence or no convergence problem under some conditions uh, sometime newton's method and the second method diverge instead of converging and often do so under the same conditions that slow regular falsies convergence but though regular falsi is one of the best methods and even in its original unimproved version would often be the best choice for example when newtons isn't used because the derivative is pro prohibitively time consuming to evaluate or when newtons and successive substitutions have failed to converge a regular falsi's failure mode is easy to detect the same end points is retained twice in a row so this is the condition this is the situation in which a regular falsi method is fail the problem is easily remedied by picking instead a modified false position chosen to avoid slow downs due to uh, relatively unusual unfavorable situation this is the modification in uh, regular falsi method the illinois algorithm the illinois algorithm halves the uh, y value of the retained end point in the next uh, estimate computation when the new value y that is f of x and has the same sign as the uh, previous one uh, meaning that uh, the end point of the previous and step will be retained and hence we use these two formulas for uh, next estimation uh, so uh, graphically uh, we see uh, the illinois algorithm what is illinois algorithm and a modification uh, so this is the graph uh, in which uh, this is regular falsi method and uh, this is modified uh, regular falsi method in which we use half of the uh, value of y and that is uh, uh, 1 by 2 into f of b so uh, this is the modification uh, in a regular falsi method uh, when we uh, see that the, the sign of uh, f of x and, and the previous value have the uh, same uh, meaning that the end point of the previous step will be retained algorithm for uh, modified regular falsi method uh, choose the first interval by finding points a and b such that a solution exists between them this means that f of a and f of b have different signs such that the product of uh, function at uh, a and b less than zero the points can be determined by examining the plot of the uh, function at uh, f of x versus x so how we take our interval uh, first we plot the function we like that 
and the function that intersect the x axis at this point and we take two points in the neighborhood of uh, this solution and that is a and b so this will be our interval a and b and the value of the function at these point the end point of the interval uh, will be opposite and the product of this one will be less than less than zero so number two uh, calculate the first estimate of the numerical solution and that is by using this formula and uh, number three uh, determined and uh, determine whether the true solution is between uh, a and x1 or uh, x1 and b this is done by checking the sign of the product of uh, f of a and f of x1 if the product of f of a and x1 is less than 0 then the uh, given equation f of x is equal to 0 has the solution in this interval this means end point a is fixed so we take half of the uh, f of a this is the value of y we know that f of a is equal to y and we take half of the uh, value of y uh, in uh, improved modified regular policy method and we calculate uh, next uh, uh, iteration or next uh, estimated solution that is x2 uh, so x2 is equal to uh, uh, this uh, formula for this one is uh, uh, like that and uh, we use the half of the value of y that is f of a divided by 2 f of a and divided by to this is the modification a regular falsing method uh, if f of x1 uh, and dot or uh, the product of f of x1 and f of b less than 0 uh, then the given equation f of x is equal to 0 has the solution in and this interval x1 and b this means uh, end point b is fixed so we take half of the value of y that is f of b divided by 2 and calculate uh, a new estimated solution that is x2 so uh, this is the modification f of b divided by 2 and f of b divided by 2 and um, uh, remaining is same uh, so this is the algorithm for modified regular policy method and uh, we have to know when we uh, stopped uh, the iterations so when are the iterations when are the iterations are stopped this is our stopping criteria we use uh, 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 tolerance is equal to b minus a divided by 2 this is less than or equal to this value this is the small number and that uh, will be given in our uh, problems or uh, questions uh, number two uh, tolerance in function uh, so uh, tolerance in function will be like that the absolute of function at uh, estimated solution will be less than or equal to sorry will be less than and uh, this small number that is epsilon uh, so uh, uh, let's uh, discuss example and uh, um, we check the uh, rate of convergence fast rate of convergence of modified regular policy method than the uh, unimproved regular policy method uh, so this is the algorithm uh, we apply this algorithm to uh, solve example as well as we uh, will also write a MATLAB code for this uh, modified regular policy method uh, on these steps that we have all we discussed in uh, uh, reg uh, algorithm for modified regular policy method example find a numerical solution using modified regular policy method consider x is equal to under root 2 and uh, with interval this one and uh, this is uh, epsilon is equal to 0 0.0001 uh, so this is our formula and uh, a is equal to 1 and b is equal to these are the end point of the interval after simplification this one we get this and uh, the value of the function at the end point of the interval is equal to minus 1 and at b is equal to 2 the product of this one is less than uh, zero therefore uh, a solution is lie between a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 and function is continuous on uh, this interval so we have first uh, iteration and uh, uh, we calculate the first solution by using this formula uh, so uh, this is equal to after substitution all these values in this formula we get x1 is equal to 1 point and 3 3 3 this one and uh, substitute this value uh, on function uh, our function f of x is equal to x square minus 2 and that is equal to 
minus 0 0.2222 so uh, next we check the product of uh, f of a and f of x1 this will be greater than and uh, this is greater than 0 and uh, then we check the product of uh, f of x1 with the f of b this is less than 0 this means b is fixed so we take the half of the value of f of b uh, the true solution is between x1 and b we have new interval this one this is equal to this one uh, so we check the tolerance in our solution b minus x1 and divided by 2 this is equal to 0 point this one uh, next iteration iteration number 2 uh, we use uh, an, uh, that uh, we use the value of uh, y that is uh, f of b uh, uh, half of this one f of b divided by 2 and f of b divided by 2 this one we know that y is equal to f of b so we take half of this one okay uh, so this is uh, the formula uh, and after substituting all these values in this formula we get 1.4545 and we check the value and we check the value of the function at this uh, point we calculate the value of the function at this uh, point x2 and this is equal to this one and again we check the sign of the function product of f of b into x2 that is greater than 0 and uh, the product of f of x1 and f of x2 that is less than 0 this means x1 is fixed uh, the true solution is between x1 and x2 sorry the this here will be x2 uh, so uh, it is our new interval that is equal to 1.333 uh, and 1.4545 and we check the tolerance in our solution this is tolerance and uh, still greater than uh, this one 0 0.001 uh, so we do next iteration that is iteration number three and uh, we know that uh, here we have uh, x1 is fixed so we take the half of the this one uh, so this is the formula for uh, iteration number three and we calculate x3 using this formula after substituting all these values that is 1.4130 again we check the value of the calculate the value of the function at x3 and this is equal to this one and we check the uh, product of f of x1 x3 and x3 and x2 uh, this means x2 is fixed so we again take the half of this one x2 and we calculate we do next iteration the true solution is between uh, n3 x3 and x2 this is our new interval this is equal to this one and uh, we check tolerance that is uh, in our solution this is equal to 0 0.0208 this is still greater than our uh, epsilon that is 0 0.0001 so we uh, do next iteration iteration 4 uh, and we know that uh, and, uh, we have uh, using half of f of x2 and that is divided by 2 and uh, this is our uh, formula for a new iteration for x4 after substituting all these uh, substituting all these values in this formula we get uh, 1.4142 so uh, calculate the value of the function at this point x4 we get uh, 0 so our root is uh, uh, that is 1.4142 and the fun uh, graph of the function is this one and this is our uh, root that is 1.4142 and uh, the function intersect the x axis at this point and, and this is our true solution and estimated solution for uh, x is equal to under root 2 or f of x is equal to x square minus 2 so uh, this is uh, our uh, regular modified regular policy method and uh, it converges its convergence is faster than the uh, unimproved or regular policy method uh, we have already calculated the solution of uh, this equation using the regular policy method now we write a MATLAB code for 
modify the regular proxy method uh, so this will be our uh, condition for uh, regular proxy method if the product of ffa and ffp less than zero then we uh, find a numerical estimated numerical solution after finding estimated numerical solution we check the product of ffa and ffx1 and product uh, then uh, pro then we use this formula and uh, then if uh, the product of uh, f of x1 uh, into f of uh, b less than 0 then we use this formula okay and uh, uh, we use the stopping criteria uh, for the regular modified regular policy method this one the tolerance in function is uh, less than this epsilon and this will be given in uh, prob our problem uh, so uh, let's write a MATLAB code f is equal to x square minus 2 this is a given function and a is equal to and b is equal to 2 these are the end point of the interval uh, so we take f of f a is equal to uh, function value of the function at a and f b is equal to value of the function at b uh, epsilon is equal to 0 0.001 and given tolerance or allowable error in numerical solution uh, so we take n is equal to 100 number of iteration and uh, use a display command to display all, all these stuffs okay and uh, next uh, we use a for loop for a repeated iteration i is equal to 0 to n and uh, and n is equal to 100 uh, this is condition if the value of the function at the end part of the interval is less than 0 then we use formula this one x is equal to uh, for calculating the numerical solution this is the formula of uh, regular falsi method uh, next we uh, check the tolerance in uh, solution uh, a numerical solution estimated solution that we have calculated using this formula and uh, uh, this command to display the result uh, all these stuffs i.e. number of iterations a b f of a f of b product of the function at the end point of the interval numerical estimated numerical solution value of the function at uh, um, the estimated solution and tolerance and uh, this use a uh, percentage 3i for uh, iterations and uh, percentage 11.4 uh, uh, f uh, this 11 for uh, space and, and uh, 0.4 for uh, 4 decimal points okay now uh, we use a stopping criteria uh, sorry swapping criteria uh, if the function value of the function at a and x is less than 0 then b is equal to this and we take uh, uh, f of b is equal to 2 into uh, f of b as if f of b into f of x less than 0 then a is equal to xn and f of a is equal to 2 into f of a so uh, uh, we use a stopping criteria if the absolute of the function at uh, numerical calculated numerical solution is less than epsilon and then break the uh, number of iteration or a for loop or uh, iteration and this com command to display final root or a numerical solution uh, uh, all these commands to plot uh, our graph uh, and numerical solution in uh, graph so let's run our MATLAB code yes and this is the graph of our function and this is root 1.4142 and uh, the function intersect the x-axis at this point 1.4142 that is our root so uh, these are all iterations um, this is our zero iteration and one two and three iteration and, uh, and these are the intervals uh, that first interval second interval and third interval and this is fourth interval uh, and the, we can also check the detail of example and this is tolerance in our solution and at 
this point at this estimated solution the value of the function is completely zero so this is our final solution or the root of the function thank you so much for watching my video and